Okay, uh, got the victory today. Um, obviously, it was a little sloppy. You know, what really stands out to me is the five turnovers, which uh, is very uncharacteristic. I can't remember the last time we had five turnovers. A critical penalty down there in the in the red zone and plus five going in was also uncharacteristic. And if you take the turnovers away, I think we'd be feeling really good and could have put the game away uh, early. Our defense played well again. Uh, you know, I think uh, do, just doing a super job. You know, on that end, and then on a, a side note, Darius James got a good report. Um, I think he's back. Everything, everything is fine. That was a scary deal. Uh, anytime it's a neck injury and one of your players gets carted off the field, that's a, that's a very scary deal. So that's real positive. Um, you know, guys will enjoy this uh, tonight, and uh, then we'll get ready for SEC uh, play next week on the road at Missouri. Questions? Uh, anything you put your finger on with, with the fumbles? Especially. Yeah, that. Uh, I mean, we're, we're going to have to look at it. Obviously, that was an issue, uh, and that's uncharacteristic. And um, it, it got it's kind of snowballed on us, you know. And I think three of those were in the red zone, and uh, you know that's a that's a tough pill to swallow. There, we got to correct that. Josh, were you surprised by how difficult it was to run the football? Today? Uh, you know, we got to run the football better. I mean, uh, you know, you look at it, and it's 43 rushes and 100. 46 yards. We got to run the football better, and uh, you know, so we we've got to solve that one. You know, looking at you know the passing. You know, Jarrett was 32 for 37. That's about as efficient as it gets. So that was on a positive. And I know the one interception. It was a bang bang deal right there uh, on that. But I thought he did a solid job. But uh, really, what stands out to me is we got to run the football better. But that's I guess why again another week in a row, no Cam Martin, no Malik Miller. Yeah, you know, Cam Petway, obviously, you know, we feel like he's one of the best in our league. And the way the game unfolds sometimes, um, you know, it's a close game. And so I think the, the offensive coaches wanted Petway in the game, and I think the score dictated a lot of that. It seemed like you were less active on the headset and on the sideline this week compared to last week. Was that, was that changed? change? Yeah, I mean, you, you must be watching me pretty close. I mean, I was... Uh, yeah, I mean, we deferred everything to Chip at that point and Herb. Or? Well, Chip's our offensive coordinator, and you know we talked about you know Chip going up in the booth and Herb coming down, and you know I thought the communication part, and uh, I thought it was pretty good, you know, and I think both of them felt comfortable. I mean, obviously, you know that that doesn't have anything to do with the five turnovers. That that's really what what we've got to solve offensively. Had quite a few yards, but uh, we got to solve the turnovers. When you hired Chip, you said you were going to retire the clipboard. You hadn't done that until this. Well, you know, really, the clipboard that I've carried my whole college career, I retired it. What I did uh, the first two weeks, I had kind of a makeshift deal that had some offensive information, some defensive information, and some kicking game information. So what I did today is I condensed it and I kind of folded it up in a three-fold and I just kind of put it in my back pocket. Because you moved Austin after Darius's injury, you moved Austin to right tackle with Casey in center. How do yeah. you feel like that? Yeah, you know, we talked about our offensive line. We had some depth, and today it was good to have a Casey Dunn come in there and uh, a veteran guy at center. And you know, Austin's played some tackle. I mean, he played left tackle some last year, but you know, his ability to play right tackle too. And uh, so we talked about the depth, and, and we needed it today. Clearly, though, there's a difference between an emergency situation like that and getting a guy maybe ready to play over a week. Is that something you could maybe look at? Yeah, you, you know, you know, Herb and and Chip. I mean, they'll they'll talk through. Uh, you know, what's best as far as the lineup and, and, and all that. You know, going into each game, you have a plan. If this guy gets hurt, if that guy gets hurt. And then when you have a full week to evaluate everything, you know, sometimes that turns out just a little bit different. I mean, they, you know, they'll have to watch the film and um, and just get the best best plan and the best personnel, you know, uh, for next week at Missouri. How close were you to making a change in the starting offensive line? Uh, you know, we, we evaluate everything, like I said, and uh, we let it play out in practice. And, uh, you know, that was the lineup that uh, the coaches felt was uh, was give us the best chance of being successful. Because you said on Tiger Talk, you wanted to come out of this game with some confidence. Yeah. Do you feel like you come out with more? Well, yeah, yeah here, here's how I feel. Uh, I feel like we moved the football and did some good things. But when you look at, I mean, I don't know the last time we had a quarterback 32 for 37, you know, but that's a that's a positive sign but the 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 underlying thing that's really carrying with me is the five turnovers and and I'm the head coach I got we got to solve that and it starts with me I've got to solve that and we're, we're going to get hard on that it is uncharacteristic but uh, you know if you put that aside there's some things that you can carry on to conference play you said the interception was a bang bang play would you like to see uh, Nick Craig sort of you know, I, I'll have to look at it on film. I mean, it was it, it was close. You know, it was one of those close ones. I'll have to really look at it and, and all that.
the wildcat, something you've been working on with. Yeah, it did. Uh, you know, he bounced that one for a touchdown, and then of course I think you know he made about four guys miss on the other. I mean, he just that last one just kind of wheeled himself in, and just uh, a new little wrinkle that uh, you know Chip's done in the past. Can you talk about the kicking game today. Yeah, and, you know I thought our kicking game, um, you know, our kickoffs were good. Uh, obviously, that was uncharacteristic missing the short field goal. Um, you know, our punter. Uh, you know, we, we just got to get a little more production. We got to flip the field. And uh, so we'll take a hard look at that. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, that was, uh, we, I think we rough, ran into the kicker. I uh, got a five yard penalty and we uh, fumbled the punt. And, you know, Ryan hadn't had a whole lot of opportunities, but he's a receiver. We just got holding the ball and we got a, we'll, we'll be doing some ball security uh, uh, drills on top of what we've been doing. Anything else? All right, Coach. Okay, thank you all. Thank <laughs> you.